Nice little rat king. Under the boat, under the boat, under the boat, under the boat. Tough fishing. Good morning and welcome to another edition of Tap Fishing on the boat. Hanging out, just uh, serviced the boat, fully serviced it, all the fuel filters, fuel filters, fuel, 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 oil. I haven't done a gearbox as yet, but that's next. Uh, I've got to watch a few YouTube videos on that and the impeller. But uh, out in the para, um, not sure, it's supposed to be uh, not as windy today, but obviously Tap Fishing is out. So it's picking up unexpectedly, but it's okay. Uh, it's um, 10 knots I was told um, today looks more than 10 knots a little bit of white caps in the bay here but it doesn't matter it's, uh, it's like a southerly southwesterly so um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna go out in the harbour itself I might just hang in the para go for uh, I might use some soft vibes for some big flatties or jews um, we'll see what happens I'm gonna stick my head out past um, near the harbour there and see what happens about how it is on, the, on this side of the bridge near Goat Island and all that and we'll go from there so all right, thank you for watching and uh, let's see what happens, eh? So stay tuned. <coughs> so, while well, it's quiet, it's kind of uh, died down now, not much action. I'll just go through the jig, jigging. Okay, so uh, this is my jigging rod, purpose Jigging rod, Soprano by Williamson. Okay, it's a 5.2 or 5 foot 2. Jigging 100 gram, PE 1 to 3, max drag 6 kilos. This thing probably pull up 80 centimeter kingy, no problem. Okay, it's got a Japanese line, I'm not sure of the line, but it's a 30 pound, 30 pound leader. Okay, purpose built just for jigging. Okay, with the Biomaster by Shimano. This is a beautiful reel, absolutely beautiful reel. Okay, smooth drag, big, big uh, handle. Okay, uh, don't be de uh, too deceptive with the uh, short rod. It is very flexible and it does bend over from the butt. So it's a very good rod, long handle, obviously, just clip under your arm. All right, and um, just uh, there's a few techniques for jigging, micro jigging, okay, that I know of. There's probably more. Just lift up drop down all right there's also a rip I just rip it like that just rip it in okay another technique especially when you're in deep water okay in the harbor you normally look more than 20 all right so this is the this is the uh the lure where i caught the other kingfish on okay just a simple single hook all right 55 gram all right they have different shapes for different patterns so they'll they'll vib vibrate differently in the water all depending on um, what type of style it is. Okay, this one's a flutter. This one flutters down, up and down. Um, and here comes the wind. All right, so that's the technique we're doing. All right, so I'm going to move spots. One more drift. It's gone really quiet now, so I might have to move on. Try something different. See what happens. Fish on. Fish on. Oh, no, no, off, not off. It's coming towards the boat. Uh, micro jigging, bit of surface action on the 55 gram micro jig using the bumblebee. It's a bit soft. It's been a few bust ups here and there. It's not really fighting that much. Cavalli, good first run. Hasn't seen the boat yet. Let's spin the boat now. It's a nice little rat king. Under the boat, under the boat, under the boat, under the boat. Rat king. Oh, 
God, that white freaking dirty. Stay away from the boat, dude. That's his second run. Haven't got the drag that tight. Hopefully I hooked him properly in the mouth. He's got his second wind now. Line in the wind. Up. Oh. Here he comes. Here he comes. Oh, missed him, missed him. Up again. Yeah! Yeah, camera was backwards. There he is, on the micro jig. Little king. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, I pulled up here. I can't say where. Um, yeah, pulled up here, some surface act just like that now. Just started hitting some bait fish. There's not much bait fish in the water, but they're about mid-water, so. Yeah. Well done. First uh, bumblebee, first fish in bumblebee. Or landed fish, I should say. So, we'll get him released. Get him released, he's not tagged. He's not the million dollar fish, so. There he is. Good hook up on the mouth there. Right on the edge of the mouth, it wasn't going anywhere. So, on the jig, the green jig. Not bad for a rainy, shitty day. Get this hook out of your mouth, bud. He's gone. 60. 60 centimeters. So, hi, Mr. Fish. Put you on a thumbnail. Yeah. Just pulled up, just had some local knowledge from the boys here. He's hooked up uh, near Shark Island, a bit of surface action. And that time to uh, yeah, salmon. salmon? That doesn't matter. He's hooked up on the salmon. Young fellas. It's a bit of a bust ups here. Yeah, it's just a small tailor. Fish shot. Fish on. It's a tailor. Decent sized tailor. Big tailor. Look how big that tailor is. Oi. Big chopper. On the uh, Z Man. I don't know, it's moonlight. I think it is. Not bad, Taylor. Just about to go home. Seen the bus stop, had to stop. Off he goes. So that's going to end another edition of tap fishing. Um, early morning success with the king. Uh, I did manage to hook up on another one, but um, I pulled the hook because I was I just should let it run a little bit more. It's still too green, but um, end up pulling the hook out. And that, they were both on the um, the micro jigs. So jigging seemed to work in that area. I've never fished in that area of the boat before. Just um, lucky enough to see a few bust ups here and there. And obviously um, went out towards Shark Island because I was told by two uh, young fellas um, that there was uh, bust ups with uh, Taylor and Kingfish, but I uh, didn't manage to hook up. So I went back into the harbor on the way back, uh, managed to hook up onto that big uh, Taylor. So there's a few schools of Taylor around in the harbor. Um, Funny enough, they're in the actual middle of the channel, uh, not on the edges or anything like that. They are uh, right where the traffic is, which is unusual. So they must be chasing bait, obviously. Um, yeah, so it's a good size tailor as well. Decent size, uh, a bit smelly. And that's it, and uh, it's, it's today. So um, the rain's hit, the wind's hit harder. So it's time to go. All right, so thank you for watching. Um, and don't forget to uh, like, share, subscribe to Tap Fishing and um be good be kind and be safe and this will probably be the last episode of the year so um i, oh, I hope so anyway but wish everyone a merry christmas and a happy new year all right and like i said be safe be kind and be good and i'll see you next time see you later
是。